Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, I have the cutest boy in the whole wide world, Mr. Angada with me. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, we didn't actually have any real traditions for St. Patty's Day other than wearing green. Um, I did hear that if you don't wear green, that the leprechauns can see you and they will pinch you. My brothers didn't actually believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but we started a rule, um, like, if if the brothers pinched us, then, and we were wearing green, then we could pinch them back. So then I started hiding the green so that I could pinch them back because they were a lot older than me, they were a lot stronger than me, and I wasn't going to win in most cases. So <laughs> I got some... Um, green eyeshadow on. That was one of my tricks, was to try to wear green makeup and see if they didn't notice it, or I would like wear socks or whatever. Um, anyway, if you guys had any traditions that uh, you liked about it, or if I am totally wrong about leprechauns, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm gonna make um, just like a little fruit board for the big boys to enjoy for their dessert tonight. Um, I went out and just got a whole bunch of green uh, fruit as much as I could find. So I got kiwi, pear, lime. I got the lime because Sugriva likes the weirdest stuff and he probably does like lime. Um, ooh, I got a watermelon and some green grapes. And we're going to try to just kind of shape it up a little bit and see how it turns out. I hope the big boys like it. I think they're going to like it. Oh, great. You gotta go on my back for a minute, okay? He's gonna watch. Make sure I'm doing it right. Now, there's not gonna be uh, any green left on the watermelon, probably, but the boys love watermelon, so I had to go with watermelon. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. Okay, we'll get a couple of those. So I have a whole bunch of hearts and I was hoping that they would fit in here. So I'm gonna cut some of them and just put them inside of that and maybe kind of layer it up a little bit. I don't know, I'm just excited. I hope they like it. So that actually fits in there pretty good. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut some grapes and kind of put them around the outside. Okay. Mm. Angada is eating more and more food. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the Sagriva birthday party, but Angada loved the Anari. He thought that that was just so delicious. Um, Anari's tofu. Um, rice and stuff inside of it. I think it's delicious too. Um, but you actually, you never know what they're gonna like. So it's really interesting to kind of uh, just grow up with him and see what he's gonna choose. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot like kids where maybe one day they like something and the next day they're not going to. Oh, want another one? Grapes are pretty universal. If uh, the animal likes fruit, it always likes grapes. I don't know if I met any fruit eater that didn't like grapes. It's definitely nature's candy. Okay, okay, let's cut along. So it looks like I washed just enough grapes. Um, I love when that happens. Hard for you guys to see, but this is actually uh, this is coming along. I'm gonna try the pear. Um, I did already wash all of these fruits and vegetables. If you guys have not seen my video yet of what I use to wash the fruits and vegetables, go check it out. Um, it's a very safe cleaner. Very likely you have all of the stuff in your house already. And um, I said earlier, when COVID came, um, the company I was using went out of business and I hate that that happened. It's so sad. 
Um, I hope that the economy does recover and that um, some of those businesses are, are gonna be able to, to go back into business. I got a pair. Ooh, it's just the right size. Dinah, you want some pear? A lot of the juices are going down my back. Um, it's just part of being a mom, I guess. <laughs> Do you like the pear? You like it? Ooh, okay, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Um, I think that the red from the watermelon actually did work pretty good. So, just to give it a little extra color. Not that the Chimp Brothers care, of course. Do you guys have a favorite fruit? If you do, comment down below. Um, I do believe in eating fruit. I think it's actually very, very good for you. Um, nature's candy. It was designed for us to eat. Um, people worry about the sugar content in fruit. I'm not worried about the sugar content. In general, I avoid processed sugars, so I eat sugar in its most natural form instead. go. <laughs> I guess he's not sure about it, so uh, he's just playing with it instead and putting it on my back, playing with it in between his toes. Okay, whatever works. He's entertained back there. Did you finish it? Or did you hit the floor? hit the floor. It's okay. There's going to be uh, hits and misses. There's going to be things that he really likes and things that he doesn't totally love. I guess I'm just going to put this in the center. Angada is a lot like Sagriva and he also likes the weirdest things. Want to try some of that? You gotta taste it. You gotta taste it. Is it good? Maybe not. <laughs> Which I am gonna. I like lemons. I like limes. I think they're delicious. May not be his thing. It's okay. Alright, yeah, I can just put a lime right there in the center. I guess that's it. I could put, I could put, oh hi, you coming forward? Um, I could put like a little blueberry right through the center and maybe put a toothpick there. I think I'll do that. <laughs> you dancing back there? Oh, I'm coming forward again, okay. to the big boys. You ready to go give him a try? All right, let's go. Mwah.
Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you liked it, like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment. And remember, stay wild.